Washington, pouncing on the window of opportunity. The Senate has failed the test. To shut the doors on the upper house. Why stop at three? Let's get rid of... It is abundantly clear things can change dramatically overnight. Take the three senators suspended last night. They went from six-figure salaries and full parliamentary privileges to the unemployment line. Today, their government cell phones were cut off, credit cards deactivated, and security passes cancelled. The unprecedented vote to kick them off the hill, however, has not put this scandal to rest. With more, here's CTV's Deputy Bureau Chief in Ottawa, Lori Graham. Half a dozen staff of the three suspended senators now out of a job were summoned to a downtown Ottawa boardroom and given their options. They can at least collect EI, unlike their former bosses, who are now unemployed and still under attack. Do you honestly think I care about a detail as to whether or not this one gets their medical benefit here or their pension there? Why stop at three? Let's get rid of all of them. Renewed calls to abolish the Senate echoed off the hill Mr. Speaker. into the Saskatchewan legislature. The status quo is not on. Where today, Premier Brad Wall moved a motion to get rid of the Senate. It's time to move on. It's time to give Canadians the kind of democratic, accountable government that they deserve. Uh, we respect the right of provincial leaders. The Conservatives would prefer to elect senators, but now, since the Senate fiasco, a different tone. Our preference continues to be reform, but that if reform is not achieved, we've said since 2006 that abolition uh, may be the only option. Senate reform was the focus outside the House of Commons, but it was still the Senate scandal inside. This is about a cover-up in the Prime Minister's office. This is government business. This is the public's business. And the business of the RCMP, which continues to investigate the three senators and members of the Prime Minister's office. But no matter how many different ways the opposition asked, Harper had the same answer. The decision to uh, repay Mr. Duffy his inappropriate expenses was Mr. Wright's decision. That's a decision uh, he took himself. The suspended senators have a different version of events. They say they followed the Senate rules and didn't intentionally defraud taxpayers. Lisa. Okay, Laurie, you know so much about those three senators. Mulcair did not seem bothered today about their benefit and pensions, but there's still a lot of questions circulating on that issue. So what is the rule? Well, Lisa, this is unchartered territory. The Senate is still trying to figure out the rules around pension eligibility. But today, Pamela Wallen's lawyer said she's considering suing the Senate if they mess with her pension. Now, Mike Duffy, who is 67, has a heart condition and is on uh, medical leave, could qualify for disability if he resigns. According to the rules, a senator, 65 or older, with a proven medical condition, could collect a disability check, 70% of their salary, so that's about $95,000 a year paid in full until retirement. Mm -hmm. Mandato mandatory retirement again at 75. Okay, thanks CTV's Laurie Graham in the foyer of the House of Commons tonight. There was an early